super bikes. Hope you guys are doing well today. In fact, today being a Sunday, there's not but too much traffic on the road, and the weather is really nice. It's uh, the sun is out, and there's a chill breeze in the air. In fact, today I am on my way to the official Suzuki Superbike dealership in Delhi. This dealership is owned by one of my good friends, uh, Sudden. Before opening up the Suzuki showroom, uh, Sudden had an Alpine Star store. The store did so well, he thought of opening up the Suzuki showroom as well. Now he has one of the biggest dealerships in India selling the maximum number of uh, Suzuki Superbikes. He's in fact refurbished his entire store. I'm actually on my way to visit the showroom and see what it looks like. And hopefully we might get to test ride a few bikes as well. Now I don't know which bike he has available, but I'm sure he has a couple of good, all good bikes waiting for me. So hopefully I'll get my hands on one of the bikes. So see you soon and, uh, and stay tuned for some awesome action right ahead so guys we've reached Sarad's showroom it's called Dream Suzuki and uh, the facade looks really awesome you can see the Hayabusa, Jixa oh, looks really nice man so we're going inside the showroom hello Kelly Sarad's shopping hey hi <laughs> hey, sir. Hi. Guys, I have the Suzuki Hayabusa with me now. Unfortunately, my GoPro is not working, so I'll not be able to clamp it on my Speed Triple. But I have the Sena backup camera, and I'm going to capture a few shots. Well, let's get on the bike. Oh, babe, this bike initially feels a little heavy. Okay, kill switch on, kill kill switch off. Okay, the dial is massive. Huh? All right, let's go, baby. First impression, sitting position is quite aggressive, but very comfortable at the same time. Like, I don't feel too much strain on my arms. It's very, very comfortable. Seats are quite large and plush. Oh. The power in the first gear is mad. So we need to take a right from here. So this bike is about 1340cc, produces about 197 bhp of freaking power. Okay. Uh, 0 to 100 in about 3 seconds. This bike has a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour as well. The rear view mirrors are really nice and plush. When you're on the bike and riding it, it's very, very comfortable and you don't feel that the bike is really front heavy or anything. Oh, the SC projects on the uh, Speed Triple is mad. Uh, the Hayabusa for sure sounds like a beast when it has uh, the aftermarket pipes as well. The Hayabusa is India's fastest selling super bike and in fact uh, it's the best seller out here.
As you see, the SCs are freaking loud. The Hayabusa, I think, comes in three models for this year. There is the, the red, metallic red, you have the jet black, and uh, you have the white as well, and they come with silver detailing on the lower fairing. Uh, projector headlights on the bike makes it look awesome and gives it a lot of sex appeal. So not too many changes on the Hayabusa model from 2007, in fact, just minor changes on the tail section. Of course, the brakes have been changed, electronics, slight adjustments, but more or less it's the same raw bike that you're getting. The Hayabusa is really the icon and every superbiker or every biker once for sure has dreamt of owning a Hayabusa or riding one. The bike shoots at first gear. I'm not even in second gear, and the bike is really shooting forward. Kali so, Udaya. Okay, come. I think I touched 150 on first gear. This is fucking insane, man. Be a little rash with it. This guy is going to jump. Let me try pulling from sixth gear. And it pulls, baby, it pulls. Damn. In sixth gear, this machine has power. Insane power. So it has three rider modes as well. Uh, the first riding mode, riding mode A delivers about 197 bhp, so full power. The second riding mode delivers uh, half of it up to 6000 rpm and once it crosses 6000 rpm it delivers full power. So that's riding mode B and then the third riding mode is riding mode C. Now riding mode C delivers 50% of the power on all power bands so throughout your riding experience you'll receive only 50% of the power and I think that's very good for daily oh, the bike fucking jumped again so I think that can, that riding mode would be the most uh, the best suited for uh, daily commuting this bike definitely is not for beginners no freaking fucking way you need to be an experienced biker to get to ride this bike you need to have at least some kind of riding experience on any kind of super bike before you get your hands on this bike she is a fire breathing monster very very dangerous if you are not experienced with super bikes and if you're not experienced with the power I definitely will not recommend you choosing this as your first bike so she's a beauty isn't she okay let's switch uh, I guess you'll ride in front of me I'll just tell you Now when I get on the speed triple, I find this bike really compact and uh, uh, definitely an easier bike to ride for me because I'm so used to this bike. The Hayabusa, as I was saying on the other hand, is not child's, there's no child's play, you need to be an experienced rider. Uh, if you guys out there are planning to go in for the Hayabusa, straight after riding a 200cc or 300cc bike my friends don't make that mistake don't do it that's a death, that's a death wish uh, what I would suggest is that definitely 
uh, improve your riding skills and get used to a slightly lesser powerful bike go for a Daytona instead or maybe any street bike maybe a street triple or any of the 600 700 800 cc bikes that are there in the market once you once you've got your arms wrapped wrapped around those bikes properly then you start testing the Hayabusa uh, definitely not the first bike you would go in for for sure